Hey guys, Colby here. Welcome to day five of the Free Brew account. Guys, um, I know it's it's actually day six, um, but the video that you're just watching is, you know, after the reset, it still counts as day five, okay? Still counts as day five. We haven't gone into day six yet. Still counts as day five. So uh, you saw that free pack that popped up. This is a new addition to the game since I think at least two months now that the Plyum has been giving us those free packs every single day. They give us a rank charm, one rarity charm, which are okay. I mean, yeah, when you craft, those are the best chances to get a good item. But the brews, the brews are huge. You guys might not realize it if you're an endgame account, but a brand new account using seven brews every single day, it's basically like a huge boost to your level. Seven brews equals to about level 23 from level one to level 23 or so if uh, if i remember correctly i think you need at least five from level one to 20 and then another two of brews extra so maybe 21 22 uh, but definitely a nice boost for any account every single day to just just because you log in you get twenty five thousand silver which is nothing but um yeah these changes are things that i didn't have when i started playing the game like the forge didn't have it when I started playing the game. It gave me so much gear yesterday when I did some crafting. I did, I think, one or two items today, but I don't have much to do um, more Forge today on day five. And um, yeah, so day five roundup. What did I do today, guys? Um, basically, I farmed a bit more of my challenges. I did all my challenges. Look at how much progression I have, guys. The champion challenges, we've almost finished this. We're gonna get an epic book, which doesn't really need it uh, for my account right now. I don't have. I don't even have an epic at day five. I need to summon a rare fourth champion, which is just random, maybe from a mystery shard. Artifact challenges. This this is so difficult uh, because this one. It, it, I reached the stages where you have to be uh, from hard difficulty and up, and then you need to find a four star piece of gear with an HP percentage. So these first two were very easy. I got them in about 50 or so energy and they gave me back about 80 to 100 energy. So it was very good for my account. But this one, guys, this one, win a four star or higher boots with HP percentage as primary stat from hard or brutal. I've spent about 500 energy here, guys. All the energy that I got from these challenges, I spent it trying to do this, this challenge right here. Like the energy that I had from anywhere, the energy that you just gain from, you know, when time passes, I was trying to do that stage. Farming this stage right here, stage campaign, brutal, uh, going here to this stage and, and farm. I'm not gonna use my gems. I spent so much energy in there. I'll just show you how many boots I have here. Look at how many boots I have here. It's like, I can open a shop and sell these. And I even I look at look at how many boots I have. I even have two boots with speed now. Uh, where they are? Two five star boots with speed. I don't know if I'm gonna level those, but it's five star boots with speed, which are very nice for a five day account. But it's HP set, which it's not the one that I want to have. H, um, the five speed boots right now. What I want is a life steal set or speed set or accuracy set. Those three sets are the most important ones for my account right now. And uh, I could go and farm the dragon. That's a dragon tournament also. But the rewards here are not really worth it for the amount of energy that I'll spend. I don't want to spend my energy in dragon, even though it's like free rewards. These rewards are okay, but you need about 300 to 400 energy to get 10 gems. Not worth it for my account. Maybe if I could secure also some of these, Again, I don't think it's worth it because I can use that energy instead to try and level up my champions and get my Galak to six stars, or if I get something else, get that to six stars. Another update, guys. The mine, the gem mine, is finally at level three, fully maxed out in five days. I didn't think it was possible to do it this fast, but 1,500 gems, I think it's mostly because of me completing the missions so fast look at that guys i'm at a uh, mission i did 76 so i'm at 11 now out of 75 on the second part out of four to get arbiter so i just need to go to silver one in classic arena which seems impossible without a six-star champion 
Um, I just find too many teams with either one legendary or two epics in there. It um, My Gallic just doesn't have the damage to break through at level 50. Uh, I'll show you guys very quickly. Uh, I, I'm down to I'm down to bronze too. So even this team against me has three level 50s and an apothecary. There's no way I can nuke through this. So I'll try. But you guys are going to see that I'm lacking the damage. Even though I have this defense down, attack up. See, I killed two out of four. But now might win this because we managed to kill uh, Shaman and she couldn't revive. If she could revive, then we might have been in trouble. But this is like the easiest team that I, you can find. It, it, it starts from the easier team and then it goes down all the way to the hardest team. So this one is the hardest team and you gain the most amount of points. So 11 here instead of plus nine. So th this is how you, it usually goes. But this team, it even has a Stagnite who applies a, an attack down. Like, uh, I could try and fight this team with two Kales. It's like rubbing it in for me picking Kale, um, Gaelic. But I'm liking my Gaelic. I'm liking my Gaelic. Um, still wishing for a better farmer out of shards, but I have eight shards. I have eight shards. I had five yesterday. I have eight today. One was from the market, which I unlocked almost full. Okay, we lost this, of course. So I'll show you guys. We had... Five into shards yesterday. I got one out of the quest, the, the quest that you finish, the weekly one. And then, wait, was it from the weekly one? Because this one, when did I get the the ancients from? I got, I got definitely one out of the market. I don't remember which one, which we almost all um, unlocked. We've almost finished the market. Um, I got one ancient, I think, from farming. Anyway, I got three ancients today. I'm at eight. I don't know when I'm going to do them. Also, guys, another point on this free-to-play account. I've got the referral program going on. I had somebody during my stream today, this is why I'm posting this video late, who uh, was so good and decided to help me out and uh, just make a new game using my referral link. If you guys want to do this and you're on Clarion Play, you need to uninstall the game, unfortunately, and then install it using my link. That's the only uh, way it works. If you guys want to go through that for me, I'll help put down the link down uh, in the uh, comment section. It's going to be a ton of helpful for me. Get at least 200 energy and three days XP boost. If you don't want to, guys, I'm not going to force anyone, but thank you if you do. So, um, yeah, I could pick up the daily login rewards here for day six but i'm not gonna um if i press escape i'm gonna lose this right oh no i'm gonna i'm gonna pick it up i think yeah i picked it up anyway i need to farm that stage one anyway there's stage six uh day six reward that's gonna be for tomorrow's news i'm not gonna show you the gear the gear hasn't changed much on any of my champions but i think the only upgrade we got was uh getting up Le Monk to 40 and then I have one upgrade here that I can do. I was hoping for an A2 there. Outlaw Monk is definitely a nice upgrade for my clan boss damage, which I am doing quite significant amount of damage. So I think I did a two key on easy today, two key easy in five days. And then we're at 400k damage on, look at this, 400k. 400k damage on the normal boss with one key. I need at least. I need at least to upgrade my damage to 500k per key to be actually be able to get at least the first chest right here, the adept chest. So uh, it's gonna be a bit of trouble, but at least if I get two key, two um, two chests from this one and then two chests from this one every single day, huge, huge, huge for my account. Definitely huge. Faction Wars, I, of course, I always do them, guys. Um, the Orcs Crypt is going to be open for another three days. So today, and another two days. I always do those as well. High Elves, do I have anything for High Elves? I've got Hyria there. So that's easy. Level 1. 12 fights there, 12 fights in the Orcs. And then Dwarves, I don't have a Dwarf. Actually, I do have a Dwarf. Does he have gear? I think I had gear on him for a quest. We might be able to do level one with this guy. Might be able to do level one with this guy. So it's 12 glyphs from that one as well. If we can do level one, that's another 12 glyphs. So 12 glyphs can take you a long way in this game, guys. Do not 
do not stop farming faction wars i know it's boring put an auto click here on and do it and it's gonna help your account eventually so i've got 10 stars already only 809 left for for uh, lydia so getting there guys getting there <laughs> I'm never gonna get Lydia on this account. Never, ever, ever. So um, this was the update, guys. Nothing really changed in the Great Hall. 73 wins to 51 losses, 58% uh, win rate. We want to get this one um, spirit leveled up because we've got a challenge, the arena challenge right here. So this one uh, it requires you to upgrade the attack bonus of your Great Hall. We also need to reach silver to get this one done. And then when we do farm 30 silver medals, we're also going to get 100 gems. So that will be a nice upgrade there. Our goal is to reach 800 gems as soon as possible. So we can uh, gem up those masteries on our farmer, who we don't know exactly who's going to be yet. Those eight shards, though, I'm looking at them every day. I'm trying to resist. I'm trying to resist opening them, guys. The 2x or a 10x. This week might be huge for this account and I don't want to, you know, miss out on efficiency and, and open up the shards. I know it, it might be huge for my account, even in, in a good rare, but, you know, I always say this to my videos as tips to new players and then not going to follow that when I, I'm actually trying to do this. Then it's, it's just wrong. Look at how many packs are offered for players. It's just Plarium trying to get the spenders. Get a, a player to make him a spender, like two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight different packs just shown to players. Anyway, guys, this was the video. Again, I'm trying to not make these videos too long uh, when there's not too much to, to show you guys. Tomorrow, hopefully, we're going to have an update on day six. Tomorrow, hopefully, the update will be us getting to level 35. I hope we get it by tomorrow because level... 35 means advanced quests and 3v3. It's going to be huge and you guys should be watching it. Leave a like down below. Comment if you like this series. I want you guys to be commenting because it makes me want to do more of these. I know you guys have been enjoying them for the past four days or so. So day five, day six, leave it down in the comments below. Just give me your tips. Um, anything you'd like to share with me, just leave it down in the comments, guys. Thanks a lot for watching and I'll see you in the next one. See ya.